Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. So today is August the 29th, 2019, and uh, what I wanted to talk to you about today is uh, the uh, Tennessee Dancing Gourd. Now this is also known as a Tennessee Spinning Gourd, or uh, they're also known as Spinning Gourds. They have a few different names for them, and um, this is a an heirloom variety that... Uh, I just started growing this year. Um, I picked it for the colors on it and uh, for the smallness of the gourds. And uh, these are great for fall decorations. So uh, I did grow some in uh, a hanging basket and I grew some in the ground and I grew some in uh, one of my containers up there on the porch. Now this one here is actually ready to come off which just came off in my hand. So I have two of them here. And how you can tell when these are ready to harvest is the stems on these will turn brown and uh, I'll talk a little bit more about that in the video a little bit later so you can see these back here uh, there's more coming on these and these are just coming here and these have more blossoms coming on them it's uh, they get about two inches long now I didn't measure these here but um, you want the ones with the straight necks for being able to spin these. So uh, if I wanted to collect seeds from these, this one here would be one of the ones I would choose because uh, it has the straight neck on it. This one here, oops, hold on a moment, is a little bit turned there. So that wouldn't be uh, the best one to uh, harvest or pick. Now these actually got their name from, um, kids used to take these to school and they would spin them on their desk. They would have a toy, they make a toy out of them. And when you dry these, they turn a tan color. They'll turn tan, they'll lose their green colors when they're dry, and they'll turn tan. And uh, you can use these for like decorations or um, you can use these for crafting. But um, the kids, kids used to uh, take and spin these on their school desks and it was a toy for them. And uh, you can see here's another one here. This one here is just coming. It's starting to come. And uh, these, here's another one up here. Now these were, uh, these are growing in my garden here. And I'm still working on uh, revitalizing my soil in my garden and uh, getting the invasive plants out. So um, I'm pleased that it has gourds hanging on it because this is a project for restoring my flower bed that I've been working on. And uh, here's another one over here. Now this one's just a little baby one that's just starting to come on. This is another one that's planted at a different spot in uh, my flower bed. You can see there's some more down there. Now um, my gourds normally get powdery mildew, but um, this year I'm very happy that they did not get powdery mildew. And uh, I got a crop from them. So um, these are some that are growing in my container over here. You can see there's some on a moment, down there that have already fallen off of the uh, vines there. So how you know when these will be ready to harvest is the stem on these will turn brown and they'll just come off right like that. So there's three of them there. I got to get the ones out there later on then. And uh, here's some more here. Now these are still green. This one here is still green so I'm going to let that one go. And let that one on. Uh, this one here is ready to come off, so I'll get that one then. So uh, here's some of my gourds here that I did take off. Now um, these were actually the seeds were sent to uh, Rare Seeds, which is an heirloom seed company, by a uh, Mr. Junior G of Prim, I believe I pronounced that correctly, Springs, Tennessee. And um, they used to play with these when he was a kid. And uh, Rare Seeds has a uh, video of the history of the uh, Tennessee dancing gourds. And uh, I found it very interesting to, to uh, watch. And uh, I really enjoyed the video of it. I did do a video on my channel for uh, how to select your uh, heirloom seeds. And... Um, if you're new to selecting heirloom seeds for uh, seed saving, um, it's a pretty neat video to uh, check out. 
and uh, I do feature these in that video for um, how I will be selecting seeds from them. Okay, so um, I got some of my gourds here. Now, in order to spin these, you want the ones with the straightest necks. So we're going to see if we can spin this here. And what you do is you take it in your fingers like you're going to be snapping your fingers. You take it in your fingers like you're going to be snapping your fingers, and then so they're pretty neat and fun to play with, and uh, you could even add this as like a game to your uh, fall festivities. So um, these here have, their necks aren't straight and if you try and uh, snap these to uh, get them to spin, they won't spin. It gets like top heavy and they fall over. So um, if I would be collecting seeds, or when I will be collecting seeds, I would pick the ones with the straightest necks to collect the seeds out of. So um, when you're collecting seeds from your gourds, uh, the best thing to do to ensure that the seeds had time to ripen is to let the gourds fall off of the vines on their own naturally. And um, that's what I did with all of these here. And uh, hopefully my other ones will mature before uh, a frost or freeze hits that I'll be able to uh, get the seeds off of those as well. And if you don't snap them uh, hard enough, they won't spin that fast and they'll fall over pretty quick. So uh, I still have more of these out on the vines that are still growing. But um, I do plan on continuing to uh, grow these, and uh, I really like them, and they're uh, really neat, and I think it's a fun thing to play with. So uh, I hope you enjoyed my video on the Tennessee spinning or Tennessee dancing gourds. So if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. Please don't forget to hit the little notification button, I'll tell you as I put a new video on. You can also follow me on Twitter. I have a link down in the description for my Twitter account. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a nice day. Bye.